forget that A. All right, let's see. So in our last video, we made this wonderful peanut butter bar. But we need to make frosting because you can't eat that without frosting. <laughs> All right, so here we are. What we have here is, um, and we're going to double the recipe, but some people like a lot of frosting, some people don't. So if you want the regular frosting yeah. recipe, it is a fourth a cup of shortening, cocoa powder to taste, one and a half cups of powdered sugar, and milk to texture. Now, cocoa powder to taste. That's an interesting concept. So, the amount of cocoa powder that we have in this from the kitchen is how much? Two tablespoons. Oh, two tablespoons. And the milk. How much milk? Um, a fourth to a third a cup. Okay, so we're not actually doing two uh, texture, but we kind of are. So, now we're going to take this. This is uh, powdered sugar. And, uh... Three cups. Three cups. And we're going to go ahead and put this in here. Try to make sure this is on there good, because we're good at that. Come on. See all that dust cloud? That's really good for the environment and you. All right, so we're just going to lift this up. Think of this as like the flour in the other way. <laughs> we're just going to put that in. Then we're going to drop that in. You're not supposed to stay in the middle of the thing, eh? Middle of okay. in the shortening decided to go right into the whisk that's stupid so now this thing's loose again so we had to tighten it up now we'll get it to go in here all right now the cocoa powder is kind of a fun thing but to try to save ourselves from our own stupidity we're just going to put in this amount and we'll taste it at the end if we want to add more, we can. All right, come get a close-up of this and show them how it changes color. All right, so that's kind of like all of our dry ingredients in a way, except for the one of them wasn't really that dry. And we're just gonna pour this in. And this is the dangerous part. If you get too much, you end up with soup. If you don't get enough, you end up with the opposite of soup. All right, now, now we're gonna watch as this happens. It's going to turn into frosting. Right now it looks like poop. We might need a little more milk, but we'll have to give it a minute and just see what happens. All right, so it looks like it actually got a little too liquidy as it was going, so we're just gonna sprinkle in a little bit more. Mmm, smell that, it smells like grandma's cooking. Whoever the heck grandma was. All right, so we're just gonna mix it around the stuff that's on the side. Cause this is kind of a delicate process. If you don't get it right, like I said, you end up with really bad stuff here. So I'm just gonna stop it for a second. I'm gonna mix the corners in. Cause I'm a real cook. Oh yeah, this isn't cooking, it's baking. Cause I'm a real baker. All right, still looks like a kind of a mixy mess there. Uh, 
we're trying to get the consistency of frosting, not pigs in a blanket. All right, so from the chef, uh, the, the kitchen, what do we got here? More powdered sugar? Yes. Here we go. Just keep mixing in the corners here. Looks like a little more powdered sugar. What do we say, kitchen? Tiny bit, not much. All right, now it's starting to look like, uh, like a frosting here. All right, so the KitchenAid is only so great. So we're gonna take it out. We're gonna push it back and unhook it. So we're doing it in our faces? Be helpful if I could get it off here. There we go. And this is the taste part. Only daddy taste. Alright, so dad's made an executive decision. We're gonna put a little bit more. Mm. Yes. Oh. You want it more thick? Maybe. Do a little Over more. It. Oh boy! There we go. <laughs> this is the best part. Dance, dance, dance. This is where I become a dinosaur. What? Start to make it taste good. Do, um. do, do, do. Quiet over there. <laughs> yeah, I think this is uh, not the stuff you're going to find at the store that's filled with high fructose corn syrup. And it's egg free and it's soy free. Now, that's something you can be happy about. No soy and chocolate at the same time. I don't know where you're going to find that. No, Although a lot of frostings are pretty much free of Most everything. of the store-bought frosting has soy less shit in it. Oh, I've been corrected. Most of the frosting at the store has soy less in it. All right, so we are going to marry these together. Unfortunately, right now, if I was to do it, it would melt into a confection of disaster. So, we have to wait for it to cool down. So we'll be right back with you. It's time lapse time. And now it's frosting time. So we're gonna like mix these two together. This is a goopy. And this is uh, peanut butter. Now, a lot of people will put a chocolate layer on the top. We're not against that, but we're keeping our chocolate chips that we could do that for for chocolate chip cookies for later. So, this is what we're gonna get. And I think it tastes fantastic this way. Oh my. Here we go. Mmm, are you getting a close up on this yummy looking grody minoti? <laughs> oh, so good it sneezes. This is why we doubled the recipe last time. It didn't have as much frosting. Everybody wanted more frosting. I thought it was fine. But everybody wanted a little more frosting, so we're accommodating. Mmm. Are we ready? All right, so after we get this frosting on, 
we're gonna have to do a little contest to see if egg three peanut butter bars are a win. Mm -hmm. Let's try. In our family. Forget that egg. You don't even need it. And you don't need the soy either. Does anybody see any soy in this recipe? No. Hmm. So it looks like we probably didn't need soy, did yeah. we? Yeah. And there's no tree nuts in this either. You could you could add nuts to this. I don't want uh, If you wanted it peanut pecan, free, then you can sure. use if for other allergies, like if peanut if allergies, you but you can have tree nuts and then you maybe like... trade it out for almond butter. You probably could do something like or that. Or sunflower. Yeah. Butter. Or that cardboard yeah. tasting stuff that I once bought. What? Yeah, it was gross. It said it was supposed to be like peanut butter, but it was peanut butter free. Nope. 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 I think you better, uh, better take this and, and lick it. I think you better eat that. <laughs> yeah, I think so. All right, so um, there's the final product. Now, we want to take you back to the 90s. What? For just a minute. And I say the 90s because that's when I had this. When I was younger. And we just want to basically cut one out. And see if it looks like what we remember from the 90s. Try to put the chocolate in there too somewhere in your mind. Because I always remember there being a black layer. Oh, yes. What the? too tiny for me to eat. Oh, you poor thing. I won't have the mini side. I'll have the other bigger side. All right. Let's go ahead and get these bars out. I remember getting these at lunchtime. Really? When I was growing up. Lucky. Do you love them? I bet. And there... It is. It looks yummy. I want to eat it. All right. Okay. So I'm going to get a couple of forks. And we're going to find out if the kids think this is a win or a lose. <laughs> Try it. Try it. Mm. And is it good? Mm -hmm. Try it. Mm. Is it good? Yeah. That's Not good. sure. Yes, is it good? That is. Alright, now let me try it here. That is really good. All these different forks. Mmm. What? Mmm, mmm, mmm. No, but you did a really good job. It tastes just like it did at the cafeteria. Nick. And that, Nick, that is happen? our first recipe. Two videos. Forget that egg. Check us out next time.